Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John, and it's new pup. He's down there with the squeaky toy. Um, in today's video. Oh, you forgot Chloe and Boo. You can see them in the background. They're in the back, guys. We you got just like, not care about them anymore. We get almost one day. We get almost the whole family. Like Chloe right there, Boo right there, and then pups in the I'm bottom. Right, I'm right here. If you guys didn't know, I'm right here. Ashton. Right here. We haven't named pup yet, so we're still trying to think of a name. We just got him today. Zoe's sleeping. Um, the video we're reacting to today is. Clock Tower, JonTron. JonTron, yes, guys. Go and subscribe to JonTron Show, no spaces. Um, this was a suggestion from Seabass the, the Great. You read it. Seabass the Great. If you can do a reaction to JonTron Clock Tower, it would be so epic. It's Halloween themed, which is per. Sorry, hold on. Let me, let, let me redo this. It's Halloween themed, which is perfect for the month of October, but it's two minutes over the one minute max. 10 minute backs. Yeah, one ten. minute backs. <laughs> Jesus, we got really bad. $10 for one minute reaction. Yeah, it's Jesus. Just kidding. It's, it's $10 for 10 minutes or under. But that's okay. We'll do this. He donated five bucks extra. Yes, yeah, Seabass the Great. Thank you so much. You guys can also help support our channel just like he did with a generous donation. And if you do do a $10 donation, which is actually the minimum, it's not eight anymore because we got backed up at that rate with reactions, we'll react to a video within two to four days for youstreamlinks.com slash Ashton Joslin. And let's get to the video. I didn't pop it up. There it is. John Tron. Oh my god. You guys, just so you know, my Instagram is down right now, but it should be. Hopefully, we'll be back up within the next 10 days or so. so. Ghosts and ghouls. Halloween theme. Yes. What is this? Oh my god. That was creepy as fuck looking. Clock tower? It's pixel. October. Come on, right. lay it on me. I'm ready. Get out the Draculas. <gasps> the Frankenstein. So creepy. <laughs> the skeletons with the gun in their hands. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Maybe scratch that last one. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> don't forget about the scissor man. <laughs> Not the scissor Not man. Not the scissor man. Why did you realize guy? you were going to go ape shit? Mm, Caesarman! Please stop. Clock Tower. It's a series best known for the game released on the PlayStation 1, but it actually had its start on the S. Don't hit her! I didn't hit her. At all. I didn't even touch her. Chloe! Wait, this is entertaining. They'd probably rather see this. Watch. To be honest, this is fucking crazy. No, JonTron's good. I should dare diss him. Guys, I'll this move is, this, this away. This is pretty good, though. Here's Pup down here. And here's Chloe freaking out on him. Now he's backing up to me like, hey. Baby. Yo, she's giving me some attitude. Help me out, man. Chloe. I ain't getting into this. Chloe. You just gotta talk sweet to her and let her know it's okay. He it's, just it's kind of backed of, away. It's kind of entertaining. He keeps kind of going back over there to see what she's doing. It's like, dude, you're like three times your size at least. Three times? Yeah. She weighs like 10 pounds. He weighs like... 25. So almost three pound, times her size. Oh. Yeah, I guess. But technically... <laughs> yeah, technically. Um, No, it's, it's just that you gotta reassure her that it's okay. Cats are set in their ways and she... When I go up to her, she kind of rubs against me. Like, she's still happy and loving me and stuff, but she she doesn't know whether to be feared or not. So, yeah. and she's territorial. Boo is too right now, but I think Boo is going to get along with him eventually. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, guys, here we are. So, Clock Tower originally released on the, or not uh, originally released on the PlayStation, but released on the PlayStation, but actually released on, what the hell is it, the Super? I don't know. I can't even see that. It's NES, which most people Super, don't know because Super it was never NES, released okay. outside of Japan. I've always wanted to try it out, seeing as it is one of the earliest entries into the survival horror genre. Some would say this game pioneered survival horror, but can an I SNES love survival game elicit the same games. kind of terror we associate with such die. titles as Resident Evil and Silent Hill? Yes. Yeah, somehow, I doubt it. Those games are so good. It's so slow. Oh my god. Ugh. How? Clock towel? Clock towel? That's oh, not very fuck. scary. Chloe. Oh god. 
raised in the granite orphanage. Jennifer and her friend Frenzy, Frenzy, Ooh, what the fuck? Already getting scary. Were wanted as adopted daughters. Yes, I'd like to adopt the two of them like puppies from a kennel. After all, <laughs> anything can be bought and sold for the right oil. <laughs> it happened in September. Oh, Jesus. A uh, bit of a missed opportunity, if I'm saying so myself. I mean, the scary month's just one over. Right, like October, come on. Oh, that's the one! From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you've asked. Yeah, well, maybe it'd be the last time if you just fucking told me. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. We're almost there, see? Oh, majestic. Yeah, you know, all that's missing, I think, is just a big old sign saying definitely not haunted. I, I think that'll be an amazing touch. Absolutely. In Tower, you play as Jennifer Simpson, an orphan girl who has just been adopted by a Mr. Barrows. The story picks up as you've just been brought to his secluded and creepy. Okay. What do I gotta do here, guys? What do I gotta do? Chloe. Chloe, you rather need to get out of here or you need to get out. Well, she's not gonna be able to because he's bigger. So he Chloe. can. No, put him over here. Baby. Hey. Hey. Get over there. Yeah, there you go. Now you won't get here. Here's your toy. No, I threw it. I threw it back there. <laughs> Just sniff Boo's butt. Yeah. <laughs> Boo's about to Yeah. There you go. The funny hey, part is Boo's. Hey, you're seriously still growling at him and you're he's not even by you. Guys, we are trying so hard to get to this video, and these animals it's okay. trying to get along. This is this is family life. It's okay. I I noticed that when I when I t like talk to Chloe and I rub her and tell her it's okay, she calms down. What it's if you okay. throw her down the stairs? She calms down too. Hey, no, be nice. You're John. Seriously, that's this is a great video so far. It is, but you can't be mean to them. They're still animals, and it's their house. Like they're. They are family members. Don't talk members. about throwing them down the stairs. That's wrong. It's a joke. It's a joke to And let's go. The mansion in the woods. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone, Chloe, wait here. Shut up. That slow walking. Oh my god. <laughs> you think you can maybe give me an ETA on that? <laughs> Man, this game sure is a slow start. Oh no, that can't be good. A musical change like that can only mean one thing. I gotta get out of here. I ain't gonna be the first to die, I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> ah, locked doors, huh? Well, I don't know where to go. Oh, wonderful, the lights went out. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess I'll just try to go up these stairs. <laughs> Even though it's gonna take oh my, my entire God. goddamn life. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's so brutal. That's Oh, look at that. Turn the lights back on. Yeah, it's almost like we got somewhere. I have to say, for this era of gaming, there really was nothing with this kind of intense atmosphere. Most horror competitors at the time were just platformers or action games that had spooky themes. Nothing quite got to this level. Yeah, what was that? Well, I better hurry and see who just made that blood-curdling scream. Oh, no. I was too late. Maybe I should have ran. <laughs> the game works on a cursor system. It's basically like a point-and-click adventure. I eventually found out that if you double tap, she starts to run, which is nice, because otherwise I'd be walking everywhere like yes. that. As you walk around the mansion, crazy events can happen at random, which keeps the tension high. Hey. Whoa, okay. Guess I'm glad I was walking this time. Honestly, the lack of a direct input on your character helps add to the feeling of helplessness. It's pretty cool. Oh, yes. There's nothing like a portrait of a skull with no eyes to really bring a home together. This is actually a uh, original Vincent Van Gogh. People don't come over anymore. <laughs> the game also brings itself to life by showing really detailed close-ups of the items you find. Like, look at this broken picture of these two kids. The artwork is fantastic. So much terror is portrayed through this angle and lighting, especially for 16-bit graphics. It's genuinely creepy. Well, just because I'm being haunted doesn't mean I can't be beautiful. The heck? I've been strangled by the man in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the decency to be delicate you know what i'm saying like some ghosts nowadays too busy to, to float an old lady across the street 
I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can get over this yet. He spins her around and gently pushes her after he's done strangling yeah. her. And she just daintily falls. What daintily. Even? Well, fine. If you're not going to be nice, I'll just have myself a refreshing talk with the bird. Oh, God. Nope. Hey, please. I stop. kill you. Are you talking to me? Are you saying something? I kiss you. I kiss you. I'm near you. you. I'll kill you. Not now, Jacques. I'm trying to figure this out. Ah, oh, you messed me up. The bird Dead from lack of addiction. I'm getting a bit sick of these dead ends. I just want the plot to progress already. Scissorman. You know, I'm having second thoughts about this adoption. I think I'll give you guys a call. Oh my god, I am out of here! But then again, that did look like a bit like Angus Young. But then again, his signature doesn't mean anything if I'm <laughs> dead! But, you know, I'm a huge ACDC fan, so I think I'm gonna check one more time just to make sure it wasn't him. What is this person? Is this actually the main enemy of the game? <laughs> After all this time, all this atmosphere, and our nemesis turns out to be Jay Leno on a schoolboy's body with a serious case of moldy prune face! <laughs> what's he using as a weapon exactly? Giant that, scissors. That, that's hedge clippers. We, we're not getting around Huge this. Huge clippers. Jason had a machete. Freddy had a creepy claw hand. Scissor man? <laughs> He's got scissors. That's, that's actually it. creepy. That's, yeah, that's where it ends. Edward Scissor Hands. This is Edward Scissor Man. Uh, uh, what do I do? Uh, I, I better grab that shovel. No, wait. Get in the car and get out of here. No, even better. I'll hide up here. <laughs> Ain't no way his stubby legs are climbing up this ladder. <laughs> that's right. See you later, buddy. I did not factor in the warp ability. All right. Let's try this again. This time, going straight for the car. No messing around. The upstairs? Okay, bad idea. I can see that now. Car, made of steel. Let's go. But the others. Oh but my the God. others. Fuck it. As silly as he is, after <laughs> Scissorman hits the scene, this game becomes ten times as scary. Every room becomes a trap. Every object becomes a game of deadly trial and error. He can appear literally anywhere at any time, so you better be careful because game over is back to the beginning like it is with these old games. That's almost scarier than the monsters. Other random things can happen too. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Now I gotta play the rest of the game as pig pun, pig pen for the pizza for the peanuts! <laughs> some ham. This'll kill him. Hey, stop. It's a swimming pool. Actually, that's a window. Ah, hole in the floor. True that. Made again. I guess I'll just put this simple wood plank over the top of it. Just a simple plank of wood. Dude. Who are you to judge? Right. With everything this game does right, it still suffers from no. a lot of hiccups no. that old point-and-click adventures do. For instance, like when you think you figured out the solution to a puzzle, but the game has decided that that is not the way the puzzle is going to be solved. Which, of course, leads to you having to backtrack and put a piece of ham in your pocket or something. Just some obscure, tiny object yes. that you paid no mind to. All the way on the other side of the map is the key to progressing. Wouldn't it be this funny if someone were, like, hiding behind the drapes like it was a horror movie or something? All right! Scissorman, really? Man, run. There! Scissorman, what, what are you, fucking seven? Actually, I think you are, actually you are seven, aren't you? All right, checks out. Okay, well, maybe I'll just see what's behind these drapes. It couldn't be worse than that nightmare-inducing shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So can I start therapy now, or what should I wait this? for the nightmares to set in? Eventually, you get to the top of the clock tower what the and find out with Dan Scissorman. Okay, yeah, you gotta look back at this part, okay? That, that is not the way the puzzle is gonna be spilled away on the other side of the map. All right. He's behind the drapes, right? Fucking really? Like a seven there. Scissorman, what, what are you, fucking seven? Actually, I think you are, actually you are seven, aren't you? All right, check this out. Watch this. This is the okay, really creepy well, part, Okay, well, maybe I'll just see what's behind these drapes. It couldn't be worse than that nightmare-inducing shit. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is that? You missed it. Oh, God. <laughs> so can I start therapy now, or should I wait for the nightmares to set in? <laughs> Eventually, you get to the top of the clock tower and find out that Dan Scissorman, yeah, yes, by the way, his name actually- I'm not trying to be rude, but he's literally chewing on shit back there, and he's gonna ruin our stuff. Is so really? I have to watch him, like- Who's this? Mister! He's gonna chew on your heated blanket. 
Right now. Well, yeah, he's a pup. What do you expect? Sorry, Alright, let's keep going, guys. I'm gonna get bitched at for he it, is but... Dan. Really hates the sound he of throws the bells. scissors? For some reason. What the hell? Listen, even if you don't like the sound of bells, that was just a very poor route to take. Also, this lady backs off a cliff because some birds are bothering her. Yeah, that's the story, folks. Remember that powerful scene from Star Wars where Emperor Palpatine backed off into the nebulous void because he was annoyed with some birds? I still cry. <laughs> Listen, still cry. next time, you're getting adopted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead inside forever now. <laughs> Man, I mean, that was so enveloping. I almost believed it was real, but it's all in the spirit of the holiday. I mean, it's good to sit back and remember that scissors don't actually exist. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a second. What's this? But that's impossible. If scissors don't exist, how did someone clip out this article? Oh shit! But it can't be. Oh crap! Crazy. Ha! The caution tape. Oh no, that's all I had. Come on, John. Think, think, think. John, John, hurry up. The harbinger of gout and a scissorman's worst friend. What the hell? <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Those fucking sound effects. Looks like you're out to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Wait a second. Why do I have a gun holster? I don't have a gun. <laughs> That's the fucking I got a to pick with you. Oh, <laughs> People that haven't come over in, in several years. That was the last man, and he's dead now. Oh, that was fucking Happy awesome. month of Halloween, folks, and thanks for watching the new JonTron. If you want to help support the show, you know the drill. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial at Audible.com using my link, Audible.com/JonTron. And this month, I'm going to recommend to you, aptly so, The Shining, narrated by Campbell Scott. And like I said, I got a second mouth to feed. This guy over here is basically skin and bones. Huh. Or maybe he's just bones. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me show you the true terror. Dude, I'm going to hang out so store bad. was labeled as pumpkin with face. I don't know about you, but I think there's a little bit more going on here than pumpkin with face. A yeah, fucking no pumpkin he's, disgrace. He is pretty awesome. He is. Oh, I my just God. can't, like, in all these videos tonight. Boo, hey, because Boo's over here being cute as fucking hell. Chloe is being cute as hell. The dog's cute as hell, but he's sitting there chewing on the pillows and then trying to tear them apart. And then it's like, I don't want freaking cotton everywhere all over the house. So I had to take him away. He's so cute, though. Anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for John Tron. Um, John Tron Show is the you actual channel. You guys should channel. do a John Duo. Dude, it'd be so badass. He's so fucking awesome. I would love spam, to. Spam his comments and tell yes. him, hey, John Duo with John... From Ashton. I'm not very uh, famous, but I guarantee I'm funny as fuck, and I get into the moment. You guys would, you guys would be really funny together. Oh fuck yeah! But if you guys you hang out, I want to be there. Oh my god, Boo, you're so cute. You could be the uh, cameraman. I'll be the cameraman. Cameraman. See what I said there? Man, the I just assumed your camera genity. I'll be the cameraman. Genity? That's not right. What the What's fuck that did smell? I say? It's like something burning or something. I just ripped ass. Anyway, guys, no, catch you the next did. video. Peace. Bye, guys.